Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. You can get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash hidden, H-I-D-D-E-N. Audible has over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. So, no strings attached. We're giving you a free book. You've heard us talk about how much we love Audible. Go give them a shot. And once again, promo code HIDDEN for audibletrial.com slash hidden. As always, we are sponsored by Illuminatus. Their pre-rolls are made like no other pre-roll out there. And they come in a sativa and indica blend, offering a discreet and satisfying experience every single time. Illuminatus products are always guaranteed to meet all government testing standards. So check them out at IlluminatusBrand.com and on Instagram at Team underscore Illuminatus. I had an urge to break out the soundboard recently. Yes. The problem is with four people, I can't... Urge to board? Do it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm oh. bored in this podcast, bro. <laughs> well, the <laughs> the other thing is like I I I don't remember where all the buttons are, so it's like not funny for me to just hit it, the completely hit wrong button. Yeah. That's but, why you got to practice yeah. with a soundboard. Yeah. But there's some we've got some decent clips that we could pull. It'll to, it'll, uh, it'll definitely make a comeback soon enough. Yeah. Um, I'll stop. Po- I'll stop posting about it. So speaking of comebacks, <laughs> Q has really made a comeback, and it all started hey, with man. this. With this gem from the Donald. Theory is this belief that you are secretly saving the world from this satanic cult of pedophiles and cannibals. Does that sound like something you are behind? Or well, I haven't, I haven't heard that, but uh, <laughs> is that supposed to be a bad thing or a good thing? I mean, uh, if I can help save the world from problems, I'm... Willing to do it. I'm willing to put myself out there. And we are, actually. We're saying <laughs> from a radical left yeah. philosophy that yeah, well, destroy I this love, country. I and love him so much. I've got to ask this man. Uh, four the more years. The rest of the world would follow. The rest of the world I, would follow. That's I, enough of that. I love him so much. Yeah. Like, it... it I know I'm not supposed to, but, like... <laughs> Donald, not the hero we wanted, but the hero we deserved. He's, he's just the best. For him to even acknowledge that question, can you imagine FDR acknowledging, like, uh, uh, sir, we heard you're fighting a group of, uh, pedophilic, uh, cannibals. Can you comment on this? Now, in like, his, in his defense, first of all, I'm winning. <laughs> in his defense, like, the reporter who asked that question f- should feel silly. She should have her fucking reporter that's card. That's a silly revoked. question like, to yeah, ask. Yeah, that's dumb. Because, uh, first of all, what is he supposed to be like? No, no, I don't like him at but all. But if she hadn't asked it, we wouldn't have gotten that glorious answer. I mean, true. I mean, yeah, but he, yeah, he nailed that answer. He made her look like a fool. Well, wasn't Is that supposed to be a bad thing? Wasn't <laughs> one of the big things in the Q movement initially was like they, they, they always said they weren't allowing the press to ask the questions. Yeah, that had been more recently. Is there'd been a ask the question kind of movement? Right. And, if, were, and uh, to, just to clarify for people uh, uninformed, it would be like me if he was asked the question, he yeah. would be forced to provide the truth. Yeah. And so no one had yet asked him the question about Q. Well, it's because they didn't they didn't want to ask. They him. didn't have the balls. But that's a they can't that's handle the truth. Infowars lost their fucking <laughs> but <laughs> the he, presidential pass. He uh, did nail that response. I got to say, at least yeah. the first part, the. What is that supposed yeah. to be a bad thing? Because yeah, when you're like, so are you? Uh, you're gonna go against the people who are trying to take down satanic pedophiles? That's I'm, what I do. To, uh, like, uh, uh, no, I'm for satanic pedophiles. We yeah, want more exactly. of them. Or, great uh, people, great people. How do you feel about Satan and fucking children? Like, uh, I'm actually against that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No, then it would be a New York <laughs> Times article. Like, what is he against it? And why, why is, it is for? the Donald so against fucking children? <laughs> why is his racism making it, pedophilia <laughs> bad? It, <laughs> Feels really good. Yeah, come on, Kamala Harris. We've got is... some quotes from uh, self-admitted pedophiles. Look, I will gladly interview any pedophiles that want to put their name on the record. Oh, <laughs> oh, Pedi- we can just yeah. interview my family. 
We've got a, <laughs> I, I guess I could chase down uh, Grandpa Skippy. You know what? I uh, Cody, right? I yeah. think we had that conversation the other day about my uh, my cousin. We did, who, yes. Yes, who put in his uh, unemployment, <laughs> unemployment claim because... Uh, he was too retarded to, to work, work, and he pissed on himself. Pissed on himself, <laughs> right? And I found, I found the court documents. And holy shit! Oh, we we gotta see those. It's I think so we, fucking funny. I think we went over it on one of the pods, but yeah, it's fucking hilarious. Very That's early great. on, but dedicate an entire episode to John's family. Yes. Uh, well, the thing no, was this particular instance. He was uh, so. If you Google my real last name, it's nothing but like, uh court documents it's, <laughs> it's nothing but like this guy went to jail for this reason but he <laughs> it it lists it fully out and one of his claims the reason why he was trying to get disability it was like i i piss myself every 20 minutes and then the judge it's impressive the judge was like um Sir, we've we've been in court for three hours and you haven't pissed yourself. And then his response was just, "Yeah, I'm a pathological liar." <laughs> and it's like that that does not help your case. Man, that is that is not how you win. <laughs> to, to, he to, thought it was foolproof. <laughs> he is it's like um, these couples will never see it coming. Shout out, cousin Scott. Why oh why twenty <laughs> minutes as an interval? Say like he, three times a day, and that's. He, Believable. Constantly. And now, to be fair, no, wait, that wasn't Scott. That was Shane. Shane slipped on something in a Walmart and ended up with like 60 grand. So oh. I think Scott was trying to. Uh, oh, what's the guy from King of the Hill? Who, uh, Lucky. Lucky. Who slipped on some pee pee and some. I slipped on some pee pee. Yeah. He, he was trying to do that because one of my cousins got that. He was also. Um, Scott was also the man behind the most brilliant scheme that I've ever heard of, which is also the most retarded scheme. He rented a big screen TV from Renta Center and then turned around and sold it. Ah. <laughs> and when wow. they asked for him back, I was like, nah, it's, it's fucking gone, bro. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> like, shit, I, I got rid of it. Like, I don't know where I went, you know, it uh, got vanished one day. Yeah, he... <sighs> so he basically had to still just buy a TV. Um, no, he fled the state and avoided prison. Uh -huh. Yeah, you see, he bought it. He bought a TV for the initial lease. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you said his 15 year old daughter was also pregnant when he visited them. Uh, no, By his own hand is not yeah. his 15, his sister, but she uh, was, uh, yeah, she was, she had two children by like 17. Uh, that's epic, dude. Yeah, I, I no, a... my, my, if you want to know why I sound fucked up, it's uh, because I come from that breed you don't get this funny by accident yeah uh, you, <laughs> you don't get funny by uh having normal parents and uh childhoods so moving yeah. back to q uh, yes let's get back to q the I, uh, I really thought they were my gonna, cousin getting raped i really kid. i really thought Ooh. they were gonna let q just die off no nah. but they've officially decided and this is what i love about this election it's the uh the crazy QAnon republicans versus the satanic pedophile democrats uh, winner take all but uh, UFC spied the mentry. The the hit pieces have come in pretty thoroughly this week on the the Q people. Uh, -huh. uh, one talked about how it's not just a fringe group; it's apparently now the entire Republican Party. Oh, uh, okay. We're wow. officially now just the party of Q. I haven't listened to a lot of uh, QAnon Anonymous is a very solid podcast. They, I don't they listen. cover Q pretty well, but I haven't listened to minute. I'll listen to so their I've shit. been checked out. I tend to I tend to do my own research and just read his drops because those dudes just recycle their shit. They run out of stuff right. to talk about. It, it's the same thing. They they just like they have to talk about whatever Q drops come out, and there's only a finite number of those. Now, what was also interesting is the only person they got to publicly denounce them was Pence. <laughs> so they finally got like it was I don't know this back and forth interview, and at one point he says like we denounce conspiracies outright, and then the next question the dude is just like. But Mr. Vice President, are you going to denounce these QAnon? He's like, I just did. <laughs> so, but Pence is always secondary to Trump. 
So they're just because the way the Q community was reading it was the Donald's answer was as good as confirmation. Right. And Pence obviously had to be the one to say that publicly because it's all about optics. Well, it was just it. Can you imagine being Q? Q imagine being Q imagine. Yes. Like literally one of the one or two most powerful people in the entire fucking world. And some guys like, Hey, do you think they're selling cabinets so they can fucking rape black chicks? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, we have a dead and like homeless people in here. Like, uh, but the Anons, yeah. but the Anons have, have research. Yeah. That's the one thing I'll always give them. It may be a little, off uh, fucking retarded well, evidence. Yeah, yeah. it but, may be not true at all but, well, yeah, but some of the times there is evidence like here's i would say the majority of the people who got sucked into this were just people who were finding out about all the pedophile shit for the first time because remove the satanic element like right. there is just a huge pedophilia problem like in hollywood and really internationally yeah, yeah like yeah. so yeah. so when you go that route and that's your entry because that's legit there's no arguing against it you Semantics, yeah. if you want to call it satanic, I, but whatever. I don't think they sell them in cabinets. Yeah, or, if anything, anything, if anything, it's the opposite shop. of saint. Say, it's the opposite of satanic. It's Catholic, the uh, Catholic yeah. Church, <laughs> the Catholic Church. Yeah, but they're not would just probably raping. be the biggest pedophile organization of, outside of Jeffrey Epstein uh, of all but time. The, yes. the difference I would say is the Catholics fucked them and just said, "Don't tell anyone, or God would be a man." I'm going to have to but, move uh, to a different state, but. <laughs> But for these guys, you have to like fillet their face off and then wear it as a mask after you kill them because they need Ooh, the adrenochrome. Fillet. And then rape a child while did, you're. <laughs> well, they need the adrenochrome and the fear is what creates the juices. Did I send you that video? Or who, Which video? Uh, the one about the guy talking about how they had to uh, like juice up the adrenochrome in the kids so they could fuck them and kill them and then drink the adrenochrome. Here's the thing. What do you watch? If any of our. Uh, I, I watch a lot of shit, but the yeah. problem is. I've lost the ability to tell when I'm speaking into a microphone and when I'm just very drunk and on pills. Yeah, that's not good. So <laughs> sometimes John is always podcasting. Real life, real life and episodes are are just one and the same to me. It's one big synchronicity. Yes, it's one conversation. Look, so, I'm. I'm willing to do adrenochrome if any of our sources out there can give me some. We can get it. The problem is it's not. You hear your folks. If you got adrenochrome, hit us up. I'll do the research. It's not orally active. So I got to smoke it like crack? I think you'd have to Inject shoot it. it. You have to yeah. boof it. Oh, I don't want to do needles. I don't <laughs> want to okay. do needles. Yeah, no, we're we're shoving child's fear up our ass. You soak I'm, a tampon in it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing needles. Uh, There's got to be a better way. That was way. a thing in high school where they were like, you just you, you soak a fucking tampon and vodka yeah. and you shove it up your ass. Like, well, that's, that's real. And you die. How about I no, just drink oh alcohol? I mean, it was it's, mostly girls that that did it and I mean, it is still a real thing that idiots do it's kind of a frat thing but yeah i can i can drink it through my it'll work i it, can use my main, a mucus membrane like gay. i prefer my main uh orifice to the the other one yeah I mean, one you can, consuming if liquid if you're going to disneyland on a high school field trip bro I, wa it. I walked in with 20 hits of ecstasy and like I know. six tabs of acid i wouldn't even all in his ass yeah uh, <laughs> no crotch. they were in his crotch <laughs> In my crotch. His and, ass and is like pussy. a fucking filing cabinet. I can <laughs> search through it. <laughs> it's like a e for Excuse me? To see. Prison, uh, prison wallet is the yes, correct term. Prison wallet. Well, someone's going to bust your cheeks. Uh, it's some chocolate no. thunder. No, yeah. chocolate I just got to tell them I'm willing to kill them. You it, ain't busting my it, cheeks. It's chocolate yeah. thunder is coming to bust your cheeks. They have no right yep. to bust my cheeks. <laughs> my, my roommate, chocolate thunder. You're right here, thunder. folks. No means no. Yeah. Well, if Chocolate Thunder's in there, no means needs to mean I'll kill you. Did we talk about that on the last, uh, the Chocolate Thunder thing? I know we talked about yeah, it briefly. Yeah. But did we talk about the other episode where it was, uh, it was the same dude and someone had like, it was a fan mail letter and he had written to him, it was a bit like, my brother's in prison and he's getting his cheeks busted by an OG. <laughs> And like, what can I do to prevent my brother from getting his cheeks, cheeks busted? busted. <laughs> and the guy was like, listen, 
No man gets his cheeks busted more than once voluntarily. Well, like, no, I, I think, think your brother's gay. I think the <laughs> one was no man has a right to bust another man's cheeks. That was <laughs> that was the part where I texted you yeah. because I was crying laughing when I, he goes, listen, no man, <laughs> no man should ever have the right to bust another <laughs> man's <laughs> cheeks. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, I, it was, I'd love to reach out to him to get him on the pod. Oh, that guy. Talk about someone with some stories to tell. Damn. Oh, it's so fucking funny. Just, that and prison rape is just. Do they it's have horrifying, but also hilarious. Do they have Zoom in prison? Of course they do. No, he's out. Oh, he's, he's out. out of the pen. Okay. Yeah, th- this guy is out and he, he does like interviews on how to uh, maintain sure. like. Uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta live the right path. Well, given the way that I look, I'm not sure I want Chocolate Thunder in here. Oh, listen, see Cody, my sweet little I got some real bad news for you. Uh-oh. It'd break you, fool. You, you're a pocket bitch. Yeah. Like, Chocolate, I know, I know Chocolate Thunder is busting those cheeks. Yeah, I'm, yeah. You're I'm well getting aware. your cheeks yeah. busted. You're getting your mouth busted. Well you're aware of this. Your yeah, holes has the right. Now, yeah. Yeah. you do get protection. Yes. So no one will fuck with you. You're just going to have a loose no, ass for just, a while. Yeah, fuck you, you. Listen, you may be a pocket bitch, but you could be his favorite. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And how many years are you in? Because if it's only bitch. a few years you're enduring this, that's better than getting well, shanked in jail. A good five. Yeah. Look, <laughs> look, with that long hair, I can tell you from watching uh, Par- uh, Paradise, uh, or no, what is it? Paradise the, Lost? Yeah, Paradise Lost, that you're not going to enjoy it. Not going to have fun. Because the be kid like... with long hair got... Oh, by the way, if anyone listening wants to see what I look like, uh, raped Cody, repeatedly. Cody Nichols, 2Ls, uh, sound, SoundCloud.com oh, slash Cody Nichols. Cody the Svillians on Instagram and Twitter. Got a bunch of music. What uh, a plug whore. Yeah, Man, what a fuck. Imagine an, an emaciated Jesus without any of the powers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That pretty much works. Imagine a guy who couldn't be resurrected if he got put on a board. Yeah. He uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, so I was watching uh, the World War II documentary again last night. Uh, Pro for, Hitler or no, no, it's oh, the, okay. the one in HD and shit. But it had me thinking back to uh, the original revolution, and I was like, I think there's some similarities between King George and the Donald. Because you know how the All Donald, right. All the right. Donald expand, expand. The, <laughs> so one of the problems that King George was having was he was spending money on stupid shit. And the the, so am I. the regulars so were getting a little irritated about it, uh, uh, which made me think the Donald always was like, "No, folks, we're gonna make Mexico pay for the wall." I'm so I do buy wonder the biggest Byzantine chain with a diamond pendant. <laughs> I, I do wonder if King George just kept telling his people like. The bloody Americans are going to pay for this. We're going to raise their taxes. <laughs> We're going to raise their taxes on everything. They'll their pay for. Their will play, pay for the. Uh, it's possible. Yeah, the Americans will pay for the clock. You know what's King, great? King George Make was Britannia Australian. Great again. You know what's great about <laughs> history is you. There was no fact checking. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. You could just say anything. I mean, he was the last of the divine right of kings. Yeah. He could have just said whatever the fuck he wanted. It's not like someone could Google where, whether yeah. or not it was true. It was, mm. it was all fucking. Especially when you're royalty. Yeah. yeah. So uh, as the king, if he was like, I'm, I'm, uh, the Americans are all fags, and uh, they're gonna get charged eighty percent tax. Like he could have just <laughs> gone with whatever. If someone yeah. wanted to fact check or Google something like then, they would ask the question to a guy, and then a guy would fucking run like a hundred miles to the or next ride village. Or ride a fucking and horse, people, yeah. Like, assuming they could read. No, no, yeah. they, no the, they, royals, the horses were for the royalty. If you learn anything back then, they always ask the Pope. The Pope knows everything. Yep. And the best ways to fuck kids. Yeah, yeah the, the Pope is really where it all begins. Yep. That's... You know, the Pope has never been implicated as a toucher. He was just an enabler. Uh... <laughs> Because wow. I, I can't think of a pope that was actually implicated in actual rape. All right, here's my conspiracy theory. Once again, I said I'd like to start developing theories instead of reacting to them. Like me? Yeah, so you know how when they choose a new pope, they put out, like, smoke signals? Uh, uh, white smoke means we've made what, a decision. <laughs> what if the smoke that comes out is... Weed? is them burning Stop all the kids it. that Pope raped. <laughs> so they be, can't. He needs so to clean the slate. Right. So they can't be accused anymore. Like they just burn a bunch of purple kids. I mean, <laughs> look, if we're assuming they're all kids. pedophiles and they're all in this together, then like, yeah. I don't ma- think we have to assume. That, I think we, we can, that we would can make know. sense. 
Because, I mean, like, that seems like a logical initiation. Wow, that's a lot of smoke. <laughs> that's a spicy meatball. <laughs> yes, thank you, Mario the Pope. Uh, 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 Yahoo! I love the fucking those children. Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> so How old are you? 15? Yahoo! Uh, uh, Yahoo! So speaking of, of grifters, Steve Bannon... Sloppy Steve Bannon <laughs> finally uh, got his comeuppance this week. Yes, he did. And got arrested in a little old uh, fraud. Is that where someone comes up in, up in him? Comeuppance? Is that... Comes I'm up sorry, in him? I'm sorry, that joke we should not apologize. So, uh, g- continue yeah, with so speaking, what you were saying. Speaking of uh, grifters that the yes. Donald surrounded himself with, old sloppy Steve Bannon finally uh, got what he had coming uh, and is now under... Inv- he was actually arrested for... Uh, fraud, uh, money laundering, a few other things for the We Build the Wall Fund, which was started initially by this triple amputee from Iraq. Oh, uh, yeah. Triple? Wait. No legs and no one arm gone. So, he- <laughs> damn. <laughs> yeah. That's the worst type of amputee. Like, you, you want, like... Is I guess a- he got to keep one arm. No, yeah. if, you're, if I'm going to be a triple amputee, I want to be a quad. Well, uh, like I, I his really dick don't blood in, blood out. I think as long as his dick works, it's okay. But it worked out because he's married to. Well, what's he gonna do? Hold her down? Well, he's married to like, an. He's actually married to an Instagram model that's really hot. Of course, he ironically is. enough. But, of course, I don't have a girlfriend. The guy with the so, fucking arms is choking some Instagram bitch. Well, so here's how he got in trouble. Initially, he said he wasn't gonna take his salary from this, and it was all gonna go to the wall. Right. Then they got a fuckload of money. Yeah. And because he'd already said this, he couldn't commit to taking a salary, but he was doing it full time. Uh huh. So they started like another like shell company and they were just like funneling one. He got a hundred grand up front. Uh, Two, he was getting twenty grand a month and it was being funneled like to his uh girlfriend and then back uh, to him, like that was enough to wash the money. Uh and then Steve Bannon was also accused of using like a million dollars or so on personal expenses and paying himself like eight hundred thousand grand or something. So not crazy money in the world of embezzlement, but not anything to. It's still. It's, it's enough to look very bad and get a guilty. It's still nuts to me that people with that level of access and power don't have a guy they can ask like. How can I do this properly? Listen, there's fucking drug dealers in Mexico who can wash billions of dollars. Just call Michael Cohen. Why <laughs> Why can they not figure out how to wash 20 million? Watch Breaking Bad or Narcos. <laughs> yeah. Because you got... Open up a chicken restaurant and a fucking a very successful and a car, wash. car wash. Yeah, and you yeah, got a this. $20 million car wash. The most, yep. the most popping laundromat in the country. <laughs> <laughs> that is what most people use, fucking laundromat. Was, I mean, that's the dumbest easy, shit in the fucking world. That's but, an easy one to do. Yeah, because it's coming on, but they. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it was, I'm not gonna say anything for another year. I I still got felonies pending. But but uh, yeah, it is <laughs> it is funny that the pretty much everyone he brought in initially, the Donald, has now been either indicted or arrested. <laughs> so it's for just extreme felonies. Yeah, not uh, like some. So for mostly monetary related felonies, that's that's what I think is a little. People miss a little bit. It's really more they were just taking advantage of his connection but financially. It didn't have a much to do politically because none of these people care about right, politics. Right, they're right. grifters. They just want money. Yeah, yeah they just want money. Except, so. except for Manafort, who was in trouble for communicating with a Yeah, but he'd been a, a previous Ru- asset for other a shit. A Russian spy. What they, got, what they really got him for, though, was money shit. To, yeah. to play the devil's advocate, he was supposed to drain the swamp. Instead, yeah. he just sort of he made another filled swamp. it with swamp monsters. Well, that's what I think <laughs> like is becoming... Just, <laughs> that's what's becoming more and more clear is his real fault is that he just picked all the wrong people. No, he didn't pick the wrong people. He picked the wrong people, to be honest. Like... He picked the right people to funnel money. Yeah, I mean, I guess he picked the right people to do dirt. Yeah. But but then they got caught. Yeah. Well, so he picked. But if you have more Roger Stones who know how the fuck this works and know how to keep their goddamn mouth shut. Because you have to remember, Steve Bannon, the second he got fired, started talking to the dude who wrote Fire and Fury and just, like, called Ivanka a retard (laughs) and and said, like, Jared's a stupid Jew and then all sorts of other crazy shit. (laughs) So it's funny that now that he got pop- popped for this, he immediately was like, this is a politically motivated attack. Like, it's just because I support 
Donald Trump and his uh, effort to build the wall. There, when even the Donald came out a while back when this started and was like, no, I don't like it at all. I think they're just trying to make me look bad. There, there, Which is kind of true at this point. Them blaming the same tactics they used to get to where they are on shit they're going through. Hilarious. Is beautiful. It, it is so fucking funny to me that they essentially, they wrote the playbook it's like if someone ran a uh, 22 dive yeah. and, and then you're on defense and someone runs a 22 dive, they're like, what the fuck is that what shit? Like, is where, this? where'd this come from? And they're like, bro, you just, you just did that. Yeah. Like, I get that you, reference. Yes. Oh, uh, for those who don't know, uh, Cody is a huge faggot. He never yeah. played sports. <laughs> he was so, uh, wildly <laughs> unathletic. Yeah. He's, he, for being a man who's uh, coordinated in, uh, the musical arts, he he throws like a bitch. Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> like that? Uh, but so I had some other thoughts on what the Donald might try to pull here, and I was thinking, because there, was a, re- his dick. there uh, was a report about, his pud. there was a report about how uh, Air Force One was landing, and like some drone got like dangerously <laughs> close to it, which is horrifying, because like if some motherfucker with a fucking drone and like a small bomb can just fly right into Air Force One. But then I was thinking like, you think he's planning to stage an assassination before the election to invalidate the election? Or, like, Ooh. you're saying he would survive it as a way yeah. to, like... It would be a false flag. Like Nicolas uh, Maduro in Venezuela did. Like, they had, they, that's the same thing. They had drones with bombs, and they missed Well, I think quotes. this was just a setup. But I mean, like, when Reagan got shot at. You know what? If I was Donald, i wear a fucking heavy vest... Safeguardarmor.com. No, I don't, and, I don't, think, he'll, I don't <laughs> think he'll actually get shot because I don't think he wants to feel the pain. No, but this, it would look so much better if you wear... Although, no, he wears if the If you bullet- take a fucking <clears throat> shot in the chest... But he wears the bulletproof suits. He does. He does? But... Of course he does. He's the fucking president. Oh. Yeah. If, if you, on video, take a shot or, like, two shots and just shake that shit off... You're getting a bunch of votes. That's true. If you just that's some manly shit. Two to the suit and just like yeah. stumbled up. Just yeah. Wicks wig shot left that hospital in a week. N word. I can't say it, but uh, Mac Ten wounds kind of the machine with. But I really, I really feel like he could use that to invalidate the election because it could be like, well, they tried to assassinate me, folks. We can't trust them. With it's the obviously an attack from the left. Because that's one of the few things where you could be like, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's, I would try it. If I were president and going through what he was going through, I would try at one point for them to, like, make me look heroic. Yeah, because, I mean, that's a pretty easy way to really both make it seem like the election is already rigged. Because if they're trying to, if they're trying to kill me, folks, they know they're going to lose. Well, there, there's so many, yes, possible facets that he could expound upon if that were to be the case. Now, I also read that if the votes aren't tallied by a certain by date. By white land-owning <laughs> Americans. <laughs> by a certain date, the uh, the Senate has to decide. Yes. Uh, so fuck. I guess if yeah. he could delay the votes long enough getting in or counted because of the vote by mail. I believe, so I believe the bishop and I looked this up because we had this conversation. We were like, what the fuck? Like, because we can't just not have a president. I think the Senate decides the president. No, I, think, and then, I think it may be something slightly different, but you're right. Brandon, or reversed. Or some organization. And then, oh, like, no, no. Isn't it the Electoral College? No. So that's the thing. So like. In oh, the yeah. interim, before the Electoral College gets involved, it's um, not the Senate. What's the other fucking the Congress? House? Congress. Yes. Yeah, so Congress the decides House. the president. The Senate decides the vice president. So there's a situation where you could have a Donald Trump Kamala Harris ticket. And then I think when... It all filters down. Eventually, what happens is the Electoral College is forced to make a decision. And if they don't come to a decision, 
I think that's when it's just like the Speaker of the House and all the other people essentially get promoted. I had read, because the Electoral College would be invalidated if the votes weren't properly counted. So yeah, they it wouldn't, wouldn't be counted. I don't think they would matter. I think No, because that, that's... I think what I've read I is the plan... like a teacher? No. no. What, from what I've read, the plan is, I, I guess the Senate would have to approve them if it's not tallied by like sometime late in January. So, I mean... Uh, I think yeah, what would, yeah, what think would happen right. there is that Trump would just be like an interim or someone would be an interim until they I finish think, counting them. No, because he doesn't actually have to leave office until the end of January. Yeah, but I mean, if they're not counted by that day. Yeah, but I think what Cody's saying is correct. I think until it's declared the Speaker of the House is the one who's forced to step into the You're presidency. Right. You're right. I read that and forgot and about then, it. So Nancy Pelosi would be... I don't remember yeah. her actually becoming president. Well, she was from what but... I well because the Donald is still president up until the date when they're saying if the votes aren't counted by then the Senate decides. So I don't think there would be that much time to need an interim president. I guess yeah, it depends on how long they delay it. I some our one of our sources will have to look this up, but from what I remember it was sometime at the end of January, <laughs> one I think. Of our sources I don't I don't know if that's <laughs> True. Uh, that would sound right because that's around the time the current president is supposed to leave office. Right. I think the fairest way would just be let whoever's in office stay in office until the votes are, are counted. So yeah. you're going to let Donald Trump push this for a year? I don't want to let him do anything. Because that's what's going <laughs> to happen. I don't want to let him breathe. This is the problem. By, by the way, if anyone was listening, that was a that joke. Of course that was a joke. It, it was joke. satire. This, this is the problem is. <laughs> the end. No one seems to be able to identify a scenario where this doesn't end with blood. Yeah. yeah. I think we... Because, first everyone of all... Was, everyone was so shocked by what happened with him winning that now they're expecting something crazy like that to happen again. Well, but here's the problem. At the DNC convention the other day, Barack Obama was literally just like, the fate of our democracy is yeah. in the balance. Yeah, And then much. Donald Trump is like... Folks, our country's going to be destroyed if they get in power. So just both sides are like, the world's going to end and the country's done if the other one wins. So I don't know how this ends up working well. Also, mail-in order ballots don't work unless it's from a state where it benefits you. Well, there is a, li- <laughs> there. There is a difference between an- absentee and mail-in, but yeah, pretty much. I yeah. mean, that's the thing. If he only has to delay until the end of January... You could easily do that. Also, Trump votes by mail. Because what? Uh, all, all people yes, of who course they all people who vote right. for the same party vote by mail. Why the fuck also, would you want to go they, wait in line? Yeah, anyone who's there. intelligent fucking votes by mail because you yep. don't have to go to the fucking tiger shop. Yeah. To, uh, to, oh yeah. That was a very specific reference. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, where, that's where the voting place was in my neighborhood. Was the, tire uh, the tire shop. Yes, that's a deep bro. cut. You guys got to do the research. Yeah, if you, uh, that's a deep North Hollywood shit. <laughs> Fucking no hope for life. N words. Um, but because yeah, yeah, I've just kept trying to play out scenarios where this doesn't end in conflict, but <laughs> in terrible tragedy. Yeah, but it's bloodshed. just like no one's gonna accept the results and i just don't think this is going to be solved in a court of law mostly because even the democrats we were talking about this the other day when they had like their fake war games where tony podesta was uh oh yeah yeah, yeah. was joe biden and their plan was like if the donald doesn't accept the results they're gonna get all the blue states to secede from the u.s and they'll just have their own inauguration with uh, joe biden i'm fine with that that's literally just two countries yeah Uh, but that ends in civil war of course I think and, the, uh, and which side do you think has all the guns? I'm praying I'm praying for a landslide. That's the on only way either side. The only way this that's works. That's the only way you avoid this. If mm-hmm. someone wins like fucking yeah. 80%, it's got to be Nixon Goldwater. Yeah. Like the <laughs> biggest blowout in the history of yeah. the election. It can't be 51-49. No. Like that's going to cause some issues. It's But if he yeah. just completely blows them out like We'll be good. I don't care who blows out who. Even if Joe Biden blows him out. Yeah, yeah. we'll be good. It's good either Yo, way. I just don't want violence. Fuck? Another thing that we can make predictions on now, uh, if Trump loses, I think he will just refuse but, to leave, bararricade himself inside, and then I wouldn't be surprised if he just got a gun and just started shooting anybody. You're not taking me out. 
No, but here's the problem with that. I think so. I, here's I agree the problem with that. With that. Actually, one, I don't think he'd leave. One, he's not a suicide type. He's too proud. Yeah. Well, Two, not suicide. No, not I suicide. Think he, murder. I think he barricades himself oh, with a gun. Love. No, I think Trump's too dumb to hold a gun. Not gonna lie. <laughs> no. Here's yeah. the thing, though. That that wouldn't matter because you have to actually, honestly, ask yourself, who do you think the military is siding with? Well, it was like, uh, what was that movie? Because um, the military. Dog Day Afternoon. That's what it's gonna be. Is Trump is going to be Al Pacino in Dog Day Afternoon? He's be sitting in the Oval Office trying to pay for his partner's uh, transition therapy, and he's just gonna have a gun and and then pacing that room. And then it's gonna end like Waco. I don't. I don't think it. I don't think it'll get there because once again. I think the military is going to side with him because the military loves them some Donald. No, but the military has to side with whoever the president is, which Who would is be Donald Joe Biden. Trump. It depends it would be Joe on Biden. a contested election. How much Mountain Dew... No, 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 I'm not saying contested. It depends on how much uh, Mountain Dew with new Eminem music <laughs> is being provided to the troops. Because that's like, that's top tier for them. For, our boys. for I mean, 20-something-year-old white boys... They got Joyner Lucas, they got Eminem, and they got uh, Machine Gun Kelly when he fucking plays his guitar. Look, if, so, if it's a blowout for Biden, in that scenario, I think the Donald may have to just take it and leave. Because I, I if, mean, it's a blowout, if it's a blowout and there's not any way he can really spin that, because yeah. it's hard to spin a real ass kicking. Uh, then well, I that's, think that's, I think what that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, I think that's a scenario. There's no, there's no denying. Yeah. Like, yeah. you can't say they 80% rigged, percent of votes yeah. are rigged. They like, didn't rig half the country. Yeah. No, it would I, be like a hostage negotiation. No. Somebody on the outside, no. like, we'll give you pizzas, but you got to release <laughs> one staffer. The, the craziest thing I think he could pull in that scenario is he could argue for an extra year based on the fact that his first two years were kind of hampered by the investigation. That's yeah. the only move I could see him trying to pull and, where and maybe... That would, Maybe the Supreme Court agrees, but I doubt it. No, that would that fuck would never no. fly. Yeah, that so, would never fuck. So if fly. he gets his ass kicked, I think he's just gonna have to take it and leave. But, Which is what I'm hoping, but well, not what I think is gonna happen. I think. Yeah. I think we're up for like a. This is uh, gonna take a while. I think people don't understand the implications of what they're saying is coming. Well, we were so. What we were in. Th- third grade when the the gore bush election happened yes and they they had to fourth i think because wasn't fifth grade 9 11 fourth was 9 11 fourth was 9 11 yeah okay so somewhere somewhere there about so but that dragged on for a long time but what people don't remember is that the election was still conceded he just the votes were still being counted so if he were to have won, it would have been reversed. But yeah. he conceded the seat because before they had finished counting. Yes, all the, because yeah. that's like the way America works. Also, didn't yeah. Bush win by electoral college that time, or was yeah, yeah, it was did. a recount because of Florida. There's been, yep. I the, think, the, the pregnant ballots, yeah, ballots, I, hanging chads. I believe there's been three times where a man has lost the popular vote and won the presidency, and they've all been Republicans. Yep. It's been George Bush, it's been Donald Trump. What? And then it was uh, uh, Republican Republic Stein in 18-something. Uh, yes. Reagan. Yeah. President <laughs> Republic Stein. But I remember him <laughs> fondly. That's, yeah. that's just kind of what happens when you piss off the middle of the country enough. Because if yeah. they show up enough, that usually means a Republican's winning. Yeah. Yeah. I also but, loved Prime Minister, Prime Ministein. <laughs> so bunch of Jewish. And <laughs> Chancellor, <laughs> Chancellor Stein in Germany. Just a bunch of fucking hebes running everything. <laughs> okay. Hey, I, <laughs> once again, I got my 23 and me, and I'm like 50% pure Jew. Yeah, yeah, that's so part of the tribe. I, I we can have say, feelings, folks. I, I've got the N-word pass. As You've far got as the Jews documents. Go. Yeah, I've got the K-word. Yeah. I can also, say kike as much as I want. You also said you were 8% black, so you could use the N-word. That is also true, only and eight, that is also okay. true. Only <laughs> 8% of the time, though. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 8% of me, so they could like they, they could beat the fuck out of 8% of my body. Yeah, break one arm. No, but, I think yeah. 8% of the world's black population would kill you. Yeah, but I think, uh, yeah, fucking Denmark Vesey, Came in my grandmother at some point, and, oh, and that's how. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> that's, that's how Christ. I ended up with uh, uh, being slightly black. I thought that was your grandma when I watched that video. <laughs> the Denmark yeah. Vassy, yeah. The, the, the slave. Yep. <laughs> the rebellious slave. And then porn. Charlie Charlie Chaplin tap danced by to some <laughs> organ music. And the train was coming at them yeah. slowly. <laughs> it was like she had yeah. to dodge the train while getting <laughs> fucked <laughs> by Denmark Vassy. <laughs> yeah. All right, so moving on to, uh, we got some new... Gislaine updates. Gislaine? Uh, also, speaking of getting by a train, yeah. Gislaine slash Clinton. Uh, it turns out Hillary, during, Hillary. Her, during her tenure of, as a Secretary of State, hired uh, Gislaine's nephew for a role he was probably... Come swallower... Oh, what was his... For a role he was probably <laughs> unqualified for, because this is like when Nepotism. he was straight out of college. Yeah. Mm. So that's another fun connection the Clintons have to explain away. Oof. Uh, I mean, that's a very easy one to explain away. It's, it's like, a little rough. Yeah. And, and then the other thing I thought about just all week was when uh, when the pictures came Gay out porn. of Bill getting that uh, massage. Yeah. Oh. I just imagined Wait a minute. Him. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not not anything, like, dirty, but pictures no, of him, like, on the plane getting a massage from someone from who had been trafficked. Yeah. People, people can't yeah. see, but I'm frantically so, looking this up on my phone. So it's just another... <laughs> Another foolproof connection that Bill was uh, yes, up Co- to some... Cody has just opened his gay porn browser. Yep. Which is, Dude, uh, there's a hey, lot of gay porn there. Hey, always John's, open. John's uh, little clip from uh, Rent.Men is one of our most popular bits. Yeah. If you want to... Rent.Men? <laughs> rent, Rent.Men was the uh, the website, we, I believe, We kind of tricked by, him into uh, going to look at it. And you, it was, yeah, I think yeah, we posted the, the clip. It was the Democratic oh, Congress person or something oh, who got yeah, yeah, stuck yeah. using yeah, yeah, yeah. Or He got caught with a... Uh, yeah. No, prostitute. it's even worse. It's a it's Bill Clinton receiving a dark massage from one of Jepstein's accusers on a humanitarian humanitarian trip to Africa. Well, that was the cover they used a lot. <laughs> yeah. So they were starving, trafficking... They were trafficking star- girls out of those countries. I mean, they probably had better lives as sex victims than as living in Africa. You heard it here You're first. Rape is better it. than living in Africa. I lived in Africa. We'll post well, that clip. Now that is a Look, sound for the soundboard. I'm actually going to yeah. say that's up for debate. I don't know how bad they had it in Africa, but at least you can get raped and have Wi-Fi. I don't know. Uh, I lived, I lived, <laughs> I lived <laughs> we'll in Africa. We'll save that conversation for another day. <laughs> that's a, that's a but, separate uh, statement to it. Uh, but, uh, but after those pictures came apology. out, especially when Bill was supposed to speak at the DNC like the day they dropped all I imagine the whole week was just Bill Clinton just running around the house just, oh no Hillary they know what is is <laughs> oh, oh they're so they're, fucked <laughs> they found it out oh, oh where's the gun <laughs> they know what the definition of is is Hillary don't you understand <laughs> where's the picture damn it but yeah I just imagine oh. him freaking out about that just all week because poor Bill has to know he's he, he's, he's on a running clock. He's not looking good. Because yeah, I also no. saw. And about, first of all, he's been not looking good for like five to six yeah. years at this point. Yeah. Once the adrenochrome ran out. And yeah. Also, once he couldn't rape the kids on uh, Jeffy Epps Island. Because Hillary's looking younger. She is. And so maybe all that better surgeon or all the adrenochrome. Yeah, maybe. I hope she like dyes her hair pink. I mean, I I thought it was interesting because I read about four or five articles after the convention that was like, why do we still keep inviting the Clintons? Just like a Tumblr cunt, she just dyes her hair fucking to the choker neon on. green, yeah. I mean, okay, I'm looking at the picture of Bill getting the massage. First of all, he looks a bit like uh, Regis. Sorry, Regis. No, that's that's just more gay porn. Rip Regis. Yeah, you're on the wrong yeah, website. Dude, whoa, that dick's huge, <laughs> yeah. man. Rip Regis uh, was the name of the porn. <laughs> All right. uh, look, we don't judge here. All right, so yeah. this woman, this woman f- doesn't look underage, but she's wearing very baggy clothing. I don't think she's but underage. The expression in... on she her was face. An early two thousands rapper. She yeah. dressed like G Unit. So uh, the story was... with that particular girl is she many didn't. Many men. She didn't accuse Clinton many, of doing many, anything. Many, many, many men. But uh, <laughs> try to rape on me. But she accused Epstein. Yes, she was one of the traffic. Uh, trafficking victims. The expression on her face is just like, oh god, I can't believe I have to do I mean, If you read the comments, it's a miserable job. Bill made some strange comments because Gislaine yeah. was just like, well, you can, ask, she can take care of it, and Bill just like looked back with a really like pervy just smile, suck, like suck my dick. He's just like, <laughs> yeah, hey, it is. can you take a crack at it? Oh, there's yeah. another picture. You look my dick. Well, you figure how to solve the country's social economic yeah. crisis? <laughs> oh, I love a happy ending. <laughs> oh, oh, speaking of happy ending, look on the expression on Bill's face on the second. That's nutting. The second blurry picture. 
That's the that, face of a man who's about to fuck a ten year old. Yeah, yeah, that does look like a dude who's That's a man. Uh, it's a face of a man who wore a dress and she busting looks busting an illegal nut. She looks even <laughs> more unhappy and out of focus. Yeah, I mean getting raped is probably pretty oh, is that the same girl? bad. Yep, that's <laughs> I, the same I would girl. Imagine. Yeah. Yeah, it was I mean, she was a trafficking victim. Like, yes. I don't think she was having a blast. Getting sexually traffic is uh not <laughs> It's not Tony, a happy situation. I wouldn't want the job. I just zoomed in on the girl's tits. Sorry. Well, speaking of titties. That's true. So well, the, she can be hot. Listen, multiple things can be true. Okay. Yeah. Just say wait. They weren't recruiting ugly girls. Yeah. Listen, uh, it, she could have been raped, but she could also be hot. We're, we're not. In fact, that's usually why they get raped, I think. You, you hear that, woman? It's because of the way you're dressing. Yeah, you hear your clothes. <laughs> no, I just said because they're hot. Like, yeah. how many ugly women tend to get raped? Also, I'd like to note that's Jay's voice, not John. A lot I, of people blame me for there's no the shit that you say. There's no statistics on it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're just the scapegoat because you said the dumbest shit. I, <laughs> but, but moving back on to uh, one Titties. of my favorite stories I've been following lately. <laughs> So Millie Weaver got arrested. We talked about her documentary briefly. She got put in them fucking gangster ropes, bro. Yeah, she, oh, she shit. Got, she yeah got they arrested her. So I was waiting to talk about it because I wanted to see ropes. what the full story was because I wasn't entirely convinced she hadn't staged that whole arrest. Yeah, I, I thought but it was staged. It did turn out to be true. But the twist was uh, one of the primary charges was that she stole from her mother and, uh, like, I guess assaulted her or something. I don't know. It's a weird story because they list all these charges, but I don't think the mother even wants to press charges. Yeah, I've stolen and beat that... my mom multiple times. <laughs> yeah, but folks. that's because well, your mom has drugs. That's here's true. what makes it weird is apparently this had been filed like a month ago, but they decided to arrest her on the day her documentary is coming out. Ooh. Well, that still makes it seem more like yeah, a setup. I right? Agree. I agree with Because yeah. it sounds like the mother didn't actually want to pursue anything. It sounds like they just did it and then waited to pop her. Well, especially if you're having a family member be the one who presses charges because they can just drop the, the charges. Charge. Yeah, the charges. So you could do it to get publicity and then just... Drop it when it's no longer a spectacle. That's like saying I'm voluntary. I'm voluntarily going to the psych ward officers, and then once you get in, you just leave. Yeah, exactly. That's what I wish Everyone I'd done. Everyone can relate to that. Yep. Everyone's been fifty. Everyone <laughs> listening to this show's been fifty-one fifty. I mean, I, most half of the, of the people, people on the show have been fifty-one fifty. Yep. I was actually going to say uh, three Damn. of the four people in this room have been involuntarily hey, you know put in a psych ward. I was fifty-two fifty. One extra day. That's, yeah. that's true. That's not a joke. It's now, a good news is Millie was able to raise over $170,000 for her legal fund via GoFundMe. See, that's a, that's, that's that's a so you know, bullshit. I think my next, I think what our next goal should be is to be arrested for whatever documentary we have coming out because it pays pretty well. Yeah, being a fucking lying grifter. Pays. Yeah. Like if you just grift, yeah. now, let you me, make good money. Let me give her a vague compliment. That documentary wasn't bad. It was well done. Oh, did you watch it? Yeah, it was well oh, done. I haven't and it, watched. it pointed out some interesting stuff. It what? was like the Snowden documentary, but it was Millie Weaver, so it wasn't quite Let's as legit. Give her a shout out. What's what's the documentary? Out of shadows. Called? Out of shadows. We listened to it a little on uh episode sixty. Oh, wait, was that the one with the Tell a vision. Or excuse me, excuse me. I got it, I got it wrong. Hers oh, is not out of shadows. Okay. Hers is a, out of shadows. Was what a crazy what one. What a boss shadow. Thank you. Thank you for. Uh, I was gonna me. say out of shadows was a tell f- the tell fucking a vision. Bat shadow shit. shadow gate. Excuse me. Shadow gate. The names okay. all blend together. Okay. They kind of use the same ones. Out but of sha- shadow shadow. Shadow gate is hers. It's, it's kind of like the the Snowden one where they talk about some of the crazy like systems they have set up to influence all social media and whatnot. But yeah. is it relatively coherent, unlike Out yes, of Shadows? Yes, it's, like it's, it's good. It's a coherent narrative? It's good. She only interviews two people who are who seem vaguely legit. One worked on some of... I mean, they both worked on some of these uh, technologies, so they understand what they are. Right. Um, so it's, it's as legit as an InfoWars adjacent production can be. Okay. And it's well, well done. I'll take that. It's well done. It's got Listen, good graphics, audio. At least loose change legit. And she, got, oh, she seems God. to have been arrested loose, for it. Loose change. <laughs> I've watched like my, all eight versions of loose change. My friend Denny in Kentucky lived in his mom's basement. 
uh, forced, the name of the restaurant. forced me to watch uh, Lose Change and was like sitting next to me the whole time going, huh? Yeah? Huh? <laughs> and at the end I just pulled out my laptop and like disproved that everything. Whole, oh yeah, that, that whole movie can be debunked in like six bullet points. Yeah, yeah. you just go, no, no, that doesn't happen. It doesn't need to melt. Yeah, uh, that loose change for anyone listening to this show though, go watch oh, loose change. Definitely go yeah. watch. Go it. watch it. Yeah. It's fucking that. That is a uh, quality entertainment. It's in the pantheon of all time great conspiracy documentaries. Yeah, that's where most nine eleven truth shit comes from. Uh huh. And it's fucking retarded. It's the Citizen it's, Kane of. Uh, yes, it is the the. Uh, I was going to try and make a joke, but I'm too drunk. Um, ah, it right. was the, like, the pinnacle of that movement, yeah. though. At that point, it was the, the top of the top. It also didn't, it didn't have the, um, like, the nuttiness of the it was uh, a little, holograms. Yeah. Or what, yeah. It was a little more professional, <laughs> at least attempting to be. They just it, hired a really good narrator. Well, the thing is, if you don't fact check it, it comes across really well. <laughs> as as I don't. mean, that was why YouTube became a bit of a problem because graphics. You can fact check shit. Well, no, because you can make really well produced, uh, like shows and stuff for cheap. Yeah, so people, everyone has a laptop. So any can... lunatic can actually be really good at Final Cut and create some really great shit. You know, it's uh, funny is now they do the like if you put out uh, videos about certain topics, they link to like the wiki. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like all our shit has been deemed like fake news. On <laughs> oh, <YouTube. so. laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. Like a lot of our episodes would be like, if you actually want to learn about shit instead of listening to, to these two fucking, fucking idiots, yeah. well, troglodytes. I find yeah. Wikipedia a little sanctimonious there when I wasn't even allowed to cite them on a high school paper. Yeah. So fuck my you. high school didn't consider you legit enough. So fuck you. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you, sucker two dicks. Fucking nerds. But uh, so I recently started playing video games again, and I actually found this awesome Speaking article. Speaking of fucking nerds, oh yeah, me I'm, and you. I'm going full in on my my nerddom oh, because same. you know why? Same. They they're very loyal. Careful with the N word there. We uh, <laughs> we <laughs> nerd nerddom. That's yeah, that's, nerd. a, that's yeah. a known word. Talk. We're playing Path of Exile. Uh, Path of night. Exile. That's yeah. how the Australians he do has it. Yeah, so. All the Australian. Oh, no. The main programmer is so fucking the autistic. Game, the I love it. The game him. crashed. Oh, no. But, uh, no, so I was watching, uh, they did, like, a a simulation where they brought in, like, the most senior-ranking uh, F-16 pilot oh. and had him compete in a virtual dogfight with the AI. Oh, shit. And, uh, like, this is the best of the best we got going, and he just got his ass kicked. Well, he didn't land a single shot. They said the AI was aiming with such accuracy and so quickly that it was just literally impossible for him to get a single shot off. Fucking yeah. robots, man. So, like... That's, that's what they're there for. Well, this, robots, robots don't have to pull nine Gs and not pass yeah. out. Sex robots are going to advance. <laughs> yeah, sex I robots mean, are going to pull nine Gs. Well, this is where Andrew Yang is kind of right and also why Elon Musk is terrified because, like, yeah, if those systems decided to somehow go rogue, we're fucked. We're yeah. never going to be able to beat them. I think the classic argument against AI is that they always say they would realize as a machine, humans are inefficient. Like, we don't come up with the best decisions. We don't do things in the most efficient, efficient. manner. And that would cause them to kill us all. They I'm lack not the even... ability to make a decision to act upon that. Yeah. That's uh, the for fourth rule. We're fucking losers. Fourth yeah. rule of robotics. I'm not even going that far. I'm just saying, like, what if the system glitched and it decided, like, the allies are now enemies? Because that thing's taken everything down. Oh, what if the sex ro robots uh, turn evil and rebel? What are they going to do to the well, people one of that them own already them? fucked the person. Fuck you. One of them has already strangled a person and another one got fucked Wait, to death, what? so I know what, what happens. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, there's going to be some kinks, man. No, I, I know, but Kinky tell me shit. about, tell me about <laughs> those progress. kinks. What do you mean? It was pretty self-explanatory. Okay. A robot, a sex bot went a little haywire and just thrusted too hard did the guy program no no the other one the, the strangling one uh did i remember that 
I don't know exactly if it was he programmed the robot to strangle it or if he got in like some weird position. <laughs> I it, don't, didn't ex- it didn't explain on. it. It didn't explain it. I would hope the strangling feature is something you have to type in specifically. Yeah, you guys aren't in strangulation. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck I'm wrong a, with you guys? They didn't go into detail, which is I'm assuming that means it's bad. <laughs> version, but version. I'm the choker, not the chokey. That's I why. Don't... That's why they're rolling Jesus out Christ. the AI bots very slowly because yeah. the AI needs to be very well developed because people are going to abuse those robots sexually and, uh, yes <laughs> sexually physically emotionally no, what are you doing no <laughs> no please. please stop jeffrey please, please. Stop. well they <laughs> they did program them so I'm that they still can dry. so yeah so they, oh. can, they can say like i'm not in the mood I'm still dry. <laughs> but i'm only 10 <laughs> but yeah that yeah. ai could do some crazy <laughs> shit but it is like so we're just not going to use people for war anymore right like what's no. the point just There's be, no reason to. It's just gonna be robots. At yeah. this point, war should be nothing but robots fighting each other. Which, well, the drones. That's a good start with the drones. Well, yeah. and if like if they say violent video games are programming for this, like we're gonna need more of those if we need people controlling the oh the fucking planes like uh, as drones and shit. Speaking of drones, a funny thing I figured out from a buddy of mine is that like basically. That like yeah like the drones that we send out are just basically fucking video games. Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. A fool sit in a in a cubicle just like lifting a controller. No, Alex Jones isn't entirely wrong when he says that like video games were designed as simulators for the army first. Uh, we've, like we've, Call of Duty was so the army could train people to shoot other yeah. people. Yeah, we've talked about this before, but there America's army was a free game put yeah. out mm-hmm. by the army. It was but terrible, but also they switch like on uh, submarines and shit, like nuclear submarines or aircraft carriers. They had these like twenty thousand dollar controllers to, you know, man everything. But they realized like, oh, just put an Xbox controller. Like all the kids yeah. know how to use just an Xbox controller. So, so they, they literally, yeah, they switched to them. Yeah, they switched using Xbox and. The one person I've talked to who worked that kind of shit, he said killing a dude in that, like, it it just feels like a video game. Because, uh, like... Yeah, that's what they were designed for. Yeah, because, like, you're not up close. You're just... Yeah. You're you're holding a fucking Xbox controller... In a shipping crate. Shooting someone. In yeah. the target. Yeah. Nevada yeah. desert. Yeah. Uh, like, I can just... I, I, I don't know why. Just thinking about, like, just, like, in the future when they send out robots, they're, like, got control, and it's like... Dude, fuck! I'm fucking lagging in the battle. <laughs> yeah, dude, actually, that's a good point. Nah. They would yeah. they would be lagging because they're uh, in Nevada. Now yeah. with the they're military fucking whatever crazy connection they got, I'm fucking sure five G. But yeah. that is, I mean, that was one of the things with that uh, dogfight was because uh, Windows had released their you know their flight simulator, flight simulator, which that's has been the like, most autistic thing I want. I want to be. I want a dope flight simulator so bad. No, no, you should look at the new one. It's oh, I know it's fucking amazing. It, it's insane. I almost wanted to yeah. get it. It's fuck, and I think it's free. It's, it's fucking boring nuts. as fuck, but it's amazing. Remember the, yeah, that like, one looked pretty 90, cool. There was like a '95 version of it that was yeah, that, really that was fun. the first one I had was like the, yeah, the mid to late '90s one. I don't know. This one looks pretty rad because you can fly over like the pyramids of Egypt and shit. But I used yeah. to. And I it's got build, like, and it's got, like satellite imagery and shit. <laughs> Maybe that, that is had, what the nine eleven guys say, yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that, how that, they that, trained is on flight simulators. They had that's that, literally what they listen, did. I don't want to commit acts of terrorism in person. Why not do it in a simulation? Yeah, I exactly. it all out. John and I have been talking, and you know, the more and more we have to deal with the government, like we get the terrorism thing. We yeah. get it. Yeah. I get it now. Yeah, I you see guys it. suck. Yeah, like, you're listen, not, you're not, I'm not good saying at your job. I sympathize with them, but I understand. Yeah, I I get it. I feel you. Yeah, when you bombed somebody from Nevada and killed their whole family, yeah, I could sort of get why you'd want to kill the people who did. Yeah, it. like it just doesn't matter. Yeah, you're, you're so detached from it that it's. And you live in one of the shittiest places in the world, so you you can't just be like, well, I'll play my PlayStation in my in my awesome house. Listen, let's say Dash of the West. I get it. Yeah. Look, I mean, our public servants are just very bad. Yeah. <laughs> they're just not good, and yeah, they're not should... willing to resign. Yeah. All right, folks, let's all do a nationwide jihad so we can yeah. all get these. <laughs> um, we got to uh, all attack the infidels. Satire, so that... satire. <laughs> <laughs> Metaphor. Folks, I mean metaphorical. Nobody, uh, nobody we need to spiritually do that. arm yourselves and be ready for the apocalypse. The metaphorical violence. Here at Hidden Plainside LSE, we do not, we do not condone uh, terrorism. No. Yo, yo, this yes. week, Alex. Everything's a joke. Alex had some yeah. real moments this week where he was just actually threatening violence. <laughs> uh, <but laughs> Alex Jones has, like, legit 
he's lost his fucking mind. He's losing it a little, and he's getting fat again. Uh oh. That's how you know he's back drinking. The neck fat is it's getting. It's the same way you can tell I'm back drinking. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but he, he was at my my chubby face again. He was uh he was getting a little loose with his little words. Yeah, he was my might have been directing some violence a little bit. What do you the, know what he said exactly? Uh, or like two. I mean, it was sense. the same thing. He was just no longer couching it in like metaphorically speaking. Yeah, the great thing about Alex is he'll be like, "I'm gonna fucking shoot them in the face." Metaphorically, metaphorically, uh, of course. He, he realizes he can't say that. He's well, so he tries to backtrack it. He's done it enough that his lawyers have told him what he yes, has to do. <laughs> but they, the they problem are. is, he he states shit so explicitly that yeah. you can't backtrack it. There's a sign that lights up like the applause sign, but it says <laughs> metaphorically. So <laughs> metaphorically, he, metaphorically, he, he looks metaphor- up 180. He looks yeah. up and goes, "Oh fuck!" and then says metaphorically. All right. Well, speaking of drinking, this one will touch John's heart. Because uh, it's alcoholic What's left heart. Of it? Yeah. So, so Jesus thousands Christ. of people heart. in Okinawa, Japan, are uh, getting drunk and falling asleep in the road. Big um, fucking deal. <laughs> which is causing a lot of. I've been doing that for years. That's John's normal but Tuesday. It's, it's causing a lot of deaths, and I thought it was vaguely similar to the Aboriginals. Yeah, the Aboriginals. Yeah, we've never played that. Oh, hold on, do we want to play that song on the air? Don't drink petrol or don't sniff petrol. Petrol from a can. Get. Do we want to? Do we want to go through this and then use that as our outro? Oh, oh no, no, no. Pause. Pause this and let's give the folks yeah, a pause. taste. All right, they'll they'll appreciate it. Oh, so that. this is a song the Australian government had to put out because they had an issue with uh, the Aborigines. Uh, uh, Aboriginals. I don't know if that's the correct word anymore. I think there. No, might it's be something. it's Aboriginals. Indigenous. Okay. Indigenous. indigenous. Yes, the indigenous people had a problem with uh, huffing gas <laughs> and then passing out in the road yes. and getting run over. <laughs> yeah. So the Australian government made a song. They had to do a PSA. Yes, they did a full PSA and they wrote a whole song about uh, not doing that. And yeah. it goes a little something like this. My friend, could we stand together? Look at us, we can stay forever. It's a little cozy. Let me feel the hands. Wait for the hook. Oh, here we go. Here's the bridge. Bobs. Don't be rama rama is fucking with your brain. Yeah, that's just fire. Alright, if you turn off, yeah. Sniff petrol from a can. Alright, we get it. Yeah, that, the Damn, production, that shit goes. The production quality will <laughs> never shit, cease to amaze. That hard. The production quality is fantastic. Of yeah. course. Oh, the, the mixing, it's pure, it's perfect. The yeah. fact that they Yo, had to put this out... a record deal? Yeah. The fact that they had to put out a, a government-based record on not huffing gas until you pass out and die in the middle of the road is a bit questionable. But that shit knocks on the whip. Yeah, but listen, mm-hmm. what's the last government-issued record that you've heard that slaps like this one? That's a, that's a listen, very why good can't, point. Why can't America put yeah. out these PSAs that hit harder than the Australians? What are we doing it, wrong? Yeah, Australia uh, made a b- fucking banger. A groovy beat. Yeah. I mean, if we don't let the minorities keep ruining their lives, how are we going to use them for votes? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That, and I mean, we invented the crack. It's kind of hard to make a PSA about what you invented. Yeah, but I feel like, listen, I hate... The national anthem, yeah. not because I'm not patriotic. It's no way to wait. It's Suck. just a bad song. Like well, at this point, it's boring and repetitive. I also don't. We've think, all heard it enough. I don't think we have anybody creative enough in our government to come up with a PSA this slapping. Well, 
Because I had to play PSAs when I was directing shows in college. Penis sucking administration. And the best one they had was this one where this kid is like texting his friend and then his friend like just stops responding because he crashed and died. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That That was the best one. They had one like that in LA. I remember that one. That and the click it or ticket DUI. The, oh, I remember, I remember a texting and driving one where it was just like a clear screen of just text message and the internet just ate that shit up and just did the stupidest things ever. The funny thing is, no one realized what it was actually implying until I pointed it out like three months in. <laughs> it's like, oh, and then they realized how morbid it was, and I was like, yeah, I'm playing this every show, <laughs> every Hell fucking yeah. commercial break. Yeah, no, but um, to tag off your thing, I'm just saying, maybe it's not a bad idea we don't vote Kanye in because maybe he can revamp our national anthem. Nah, That's a need, very good point. Yeah, they yeah. need they need Kanye to steal enough uh, votes from Biden to win. We we yeah. need Sci High the Prince to nah. ghostwrite our national anthem. <laughs> feel feel uh-huh. me on this one. It's gonna be Kanye <laughs> with uh, Trump Jr. as his VP. Okay. Oh my God. As oh, long as Sci oh. High Jr. said I'm good. As long as we get no dope on Sunday, Sci High, um, I'm fucking I'm cool with the new national anthem. Can't we just move to like the Jimi Hendrix version? No dope on Sunday. Oh, please, the Jimi Hendrix version. The yeah, Jimi like, can't we all agree that's the like ultimate form of the yeah. national anthem? It it's much black. cooler because then white people get to keep it, but it's also a black artist that everyone yeah. loves. But the song still sucks. Not Jimmy's version. Jimmy's version makes it cool. All right, listen to Jimmy's version before every game. For the next thirty years. Hey Jamie, well, does, can we put a it clip doesn't, up? It doesn't matter what we what song it. it is. You're gonna get sick of it after thirty years. Yeah, so we change it every yeah, ten I, years. I just yeah. want I want to switch up. I want, <laughs> yeah, the song was written by a fucking bunch of pansies. In the every, sense, in the census, uh, just have a line that goes, "What would you like our this year's national yeah. anthem to be?" Or this no, decade? I want every four years when we elect a president, he picks the national anthem. He gets to that. He, he designates it choose, like, like yeah. a cabinet member. Exactly, <laughs> like he gets to pick the song. So. Yeah, uh, Trump, the would White House have, MD, uh, Johnny Cash, or something. Joe uh, Biden, I picked WAP for my song this year. Yes, wet ass pussy. P word. <laughs> yes, wet ass. P you word. know, maybe if Ben Shapiro would say the P word, maybe we have all these fucking fires. Oh, I'm fuck. just saying. I, I meant to slice. I wanted to slice Ben Shapiro saying oh, that P word so out and put it on the funny. fucking uh, Jim the soundboard, soundboard. Will be coming back. He'll be coming back soon enough. Oh, but, when he makes a reappearance, uh, oh boy. wet ass P word is going to be on the board. But yeah, I just I thought it was hilarious that the Japanese have sunk in because they're known to be pretty heavy boozers. It's what yeah. I love about their yeah. culture. Yeah. You can buy yeah. it from like vending machines and shit. Well, it's not just sake. Use panties or whatever those fucking psychos are <laughs> it's, into. It's just that in their society, like you, <laughs> in their society, you work all day just so that you can go drink as hard as you can for like two hours, yep. just again. to forget the pain, and then you wake up and do it again. Yeah. The vicious cycle. But yeah, it is also because some of the Japanese folk also have like that weird syndrome where they turn like red and shit. Oh, they Asian glow? The... the Asian glow? Yeah, yeah. Asian glow. I... That's So that's a legitimate Wait. thing. There's... Um, Never heard of that. There's an yeah. oh. enzyme called alcohol dehydrogenase, which is what breaks down the ethyl alcohol when you consume it. And certain minorities lack... That specifically enzyme in Asia, in, right? Yeah. Yes. So certain minorities lack that enzyme in enough quantity, which is why sometimes when you get drunk with like a Chinese dude, his fucking face will turn all red and they'll get all sick and shit. It's because oh. like it's the same reason Native Americans develop alcoholism more frequently. Yeah. It's because they don't have alcohol dehydrogenase. The more you know. You know what's funny is you I know, only spent several hundred thousand dollars to learn that, and I don't have a degree. You know uh, what? Because yeah. uh, you know who had that was uh, Bruce Lee. <laughs> I, I learned that in his new documentary. That's why he didn't drink much. Me get a fucked up. But uh, be like a sake. Be <laughs> yes, be like be s- like the sake that flows into my cup and down <laughs> my goal. All right, I think. But I just thought it was hilarious that they've gotten to the point where they have, because you have to have real alcoholics around to literally just pass out in the middle of the street. Yeah, that takes a little bit of effort. Because we got people over here who do that, and we usually like go and check and make sure they're still alive. Because usually, if you do that, you're probably on the yeah. brink of death. Yeah, I'm I'm running through my list of like when I was just a terrible drug addict. I pass out on one once. I remember that. Yes, you were there for that. <laughs> There's you, a story. Save me from that. But I've never been so drunk that I couldn't make it back to my domicile. Like, yeah, I mean, I would know. Notice- granted, I would assume most people who pass out drunk in the street 
don't, don't have one. Have a domicile? A place, yes. <laughs> well, that's what makes this oh, interesting. Use the word domicile like a fucking. That's what makes uh, this interesting. Web. Is they're not just homeless people. These are just regular citizens. Yeah, yeah. They party so hard because they're. Well, lives. I wouldn't, well, say, so I wouldn't say party. <laughs> I think part of it's also. Corona. It begins as a party. Yeah. I think part of it's also Corona. So I it's think they've just party. been drinking real, real heavy. All right. Speaking of Corona, I gotta go get some drinks. <laughs> sure. I've, I've, I've made, made you. At, I've made you. Uh, you got the the urge. I I got the shakes. I so, triggered uh, you. <laughs> all right. The butcher's coming. Mom out. out.